at the shop we've got blossoms on the pear trees snow on the mountains looks like there's been a gopher <laughs> zeb's working on the irrigation but we're headed to the barn to find a piece of furniture to paint um and a lot of people when we bought this place said jamie you got to give that man some of the barn i'm going to show you guys how much of this barn is my stuff and how much is zeb's stuff let's show him so his tractor goes right there this little section over here and some stuff up here is mine and next to his cow stanchion is a piece of furniture but all of this is zeb's workspace in fact some of my stuff has been put outside we just never got that in that is true some of the stuff has to go away but most of the stuff well i guess there's the kids sleds those actually need to go to the house all right this is today's piece zeb uh, dug it out of the corner there for me now we've got even more room in here if you recall i have done a piece like this before if i can find a picture i'll share it with you um and i'm trying to go for a different look today here's the original price tag i paid 40 bucks at the di for this and we probably had it about a year first things first we're cleaning the piece so making sure all the dust and dirt and grease and grime is off of here and buttercup like, left some dna she left a stool sample on the side <laughs> stop it was it's over just, it was over close to the stanchion where i milk her and she splattered a little one night there's not i mean i don't think are you guys ready for that kind of information this is real farm fresh we're we're de farm freshing actually most of the hardest it's just part, chewed grass that's the way you gotta look at it it's chewed uh, grass the hardest part is this like all the sticky from cats so jamie said that buttercup is only her cow when she's cute and she's my cow when she makes messes so this is uh this is the splatter zone right here <laughs> you can't really see it's about the same color and literally it's like dry grass <laughs> it is now. it's been it chewed up a while ago it'll grow really great strawberries zeb did a clock a while back with queen bee and salt wash and tarnished pearl and i thought queen bee would pair really well with the paulette paulette paper so that's the first thing we're gonna do oh way too much you should probably measure I'm a mess. Anyways, first thing I'm gonna do is make some salt wash. To get the paint and products we use here on this video, you can just go to jamierayvintage.com or if you are local to Utah, you can stop by the shop. I'll put the address and the hours in the description. So I'm just making this kind of a hasty consistency. You want it kind of thick and we're gonna blade it on using the IOD blade. It looks kind of like what Buttercup did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to put the crackle medium everywhere, just in the areas that I'd like crackle. If you use a thin coat, you'll get little crackle and a big coat has a lot of crackle. It takes about two hours for it to dry and then you are good to go for your second coat. see that it's splotchy and where I've applied the crackle is darker and you can see the pattern I did it's not all over but in the end it'll make sense because I didn't want the entire piece to be crackled 
after allowing the crackle medium to dry for two hours, I decided to go with a layer of DIY's White Swan and the crackle, well, you're gonna see it come on in this piece, is going to literally before your eyes appear. It happened extra fast, I think, because it was hot and slightly breezy, but I am in love with this crackle medium. I bet you're gonna see this on a lot of my projects in the future. Home Depot because we're going we came for pipe but we're also gonna buy some shiplap for a staging wall because I have nowhere to take a picture of this piece that I'm working on today and Zeb said it was okay all right two sheets of this it's like four by eight That's all. and then one um, baseboard and then we'll just staple it into the wall it'd be awesome Eliza had a good question. She was like, what wall? It's going to be in the garage. So I've been working on clearing out the garage so I have enough space to do a staging wall. Zeb's loading it up for me. Always bring muscle when you go to Home Depot. Or get somebody to help. Does that have a little chink out of it? Oh, it's just... It's like a piece of something else. Next up, we're going to be doing some sanding. I'm using my random orbital sander and 220 sandpaper to smooth out the salt wash that we bladed on and also do a little bit of distressing and bring back that base color of Queen Bee. The plan is to do two of these up, but I didn't take into account the um, electrical or the shelf. So for today, we're just gonna lean this up against the wall. It'll be tall enough to take a picture of this. You can see I can kind of get it all in frame and crop. And I think it's gonna work out. So long-term, we'll get a better wall going. Last step, or last two steps, I need to clear wax and dark wax. Now it's time for the uh, Rolls Royce of wax. We're gonna use DIY wax and clear. We've got our uh, JRB20 stencil wax brush. I'm gonna clear wax the whole piece. You always want to clear wax before you dark wax or else you're going to get a very, very dirty wax, especially if you're doing it over white. Dark waxing time. Jamie's got it clear waxed and we're just going to go around the edges. I'm half tempted to dark wax the whole thing, but I don't think that's the look she's going for. Let that sit down in there, in the cracks, wipe most of it off. It's like... So the dark wax is a little more brown than like a, like a black wax would be. It's kind of more like a, I want to say like a dark walnut glaze is what it reminds me of, but way easier to use than glaze in my opinion. like I painted the hardware and kind of I did but I soaked them and got all the paint off because I decided I wanted to just go with the original look all right so this is what the garage looks like and here's my little fake area and I'll show you what the edited photos look like I will eventually have to paint this but I think for now this will work So we're hoping we can make the other piece fit here. We'll see. It's going to be too big. Seb says it's going to be too big. This piece is getting shipped to North Carolina, but not for a couple months. So we'll put it in the hallway and then I'll grab a blanket and put it in the barn for safekeeping. <laughs> excited that 
that we decided to use crackle on this piece because it turned out really good. We got small crackle, we got big crackle, lots of texture. Yeah, it looks good. I thought that it was gonna be a little too chippy and crusty with the crackle, but it's perfect. Comment below, are you team crackle or no crackle? If you need the paint products used today, visit jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Stay tuned for close-ups and video of the piece in the shop. Thank you.